Hi, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to talk to you about stopping trade station updates. So let's get started. It's all about stopping updates of the platform, automatic software updates. And if you use any type of software, whether it's TradeStation or other trading platforms like NinjaTrader or things like Microsoft Office, most software will auto-update for you and you don't have to do anything. It'll just automatically do it. They do that to give you new features to fix what they think are critical bugs and also if there are security issues you know it windows updating all the time is a pain and you can delay it a little bit but sometimes it's really important because they're fixing security issues so you know i get why software wants to update itself what's interesting is uh, just a couple weeks ago i ran into an issue with microsoft office where I opened up Excel and all my recent files, all my pinned files were all gone. Opened up Word, same thing. PowerPoint, same thing. Turned out there was a bug and I had to learn how to roll back and then freeze the updates. And, so, and eventually they fixed it, I think, but I'm still not updating for a while. But the big thing is, can you do this in TradeStation? And... Some of the newer, the newest versions of TradeStation will allow you to turn it off for seven days. That used to be the case way years ago, but for a long time, they would auto-update. And I'll tell you what, auto-updating is not good when you have real money on the line, especially when things break, which every new software release, there's usually some new bugs in there. And are you going to put your real money at risk? with something that wasn't a bug today but might be a bug tomorrow. So what I've done is to shut off updates. I'm actually running a version of TradeStation 10 that is from Jan uh, June of 2022, and I just freeze it there because I'm comfortable with it. Now that might mean I give up some good features. Well, so be it. Eventually, it'll become overwhelming with the features and then I'll say, oh, now it's time for me to upgrade. But even then, I'll try to upgrade a couple versions behind. Let the bugs work themselves out for a while. So, yes, you can do this in TradeStation. And the way I figured it out uh, was using the registry. But there is an easier way. And this tip is courtesy of my longtime student, Dave. He's also the creator of MultiWalk software, which if you've never seen before, it's incredible software built specifically for TradeStation, available only to students of my course. It allows us to do walk forward testing and batch testing very quickly. Uh, not your traditional optimizations that you do in TradeStation. So this is a tool that I've used for a number of years and most students use it. I buy you a license for it when you sign up for my platinum class, but otherwise you can't get this software. But in any event, Dave is a really good programmer and he, he thinks about a lot of different things. And one of the things he came up with was a way to stop the updates in TradeStation. So here's how you do it. You have to navigate in Windows Explorer to your TradeStation 10 program folder. And then you'll see a couple files that are called batch downloader, patch downloader, I should say, and patch installer. And those are both executable files. They're, they have the .exe. And if what you do is you just rename them with a .bak or some other extension, you could probably just rename the file itself. And then when TradeStation goes to look to update, it'll look for those files. If it doesn't find those files, it won't run the update mechanism. So this works pretty good. It's pretty simple. And what it'll do is turn off your updates. So just follow that, and then you'll be frozen at a, whatever update you're at. Now, remember, though, 
if you ever want to turn on updates again that you've done this because you'll have to go back and fix this. The other possible issue is TradeStation might just deprecate, meaning just cease you being able to use an older version and you might go to start TradeStation one day and it'll say, nope, you've got to upgrade. So they'll force that. Uh, and there's legit reasons for them to do that. Uh, I haven't seen them do that. I don't know if I've ever seen them do that. But they could do that. So just remember, there are some caveats with this. But to me, you controlling the updates is a lot better than letting the software itself control the updates. Especially, especially when you're trading real money. You don't, you know there's bugs in every software, right? Every piece of software, every trading platform, that's no uh, you know, mystery or that's no secret. But you can deal with the, the ones that you already have in your current version, presumably, because you're running it. You just don't want new bugs introduced. And so that's why I freeze my trade station. And that's what I recommend for people who I work with. So that's it. That's the tip. If you liked this tip and if you like some of my other coding tips, hey, let me know. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Did this work for you or didn't it? What are the cons that I might be missing? There might be a perfectly legit way, reason to upgrade automatically that I'm not thinking of. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Thanks for watching.